Hey guys, all you folks who follow us here at The Contrarians, we just wanted to make a little announcement. So Nick and I are uh, two of the folks that work on The Contrarians along with Martin Popoff. Um, but we also are working on a project about um, a heavy metal band called Mystique. Uh, the title of the film is going to be Standing on the Firing Line, the story of Mystique and the Holy Grail of Canadian heavy metal. Uh, we were lucky enough to get an interview with Martin Popoff and in the next clip you'll see him talk chatting a little bit about the film which will hopefully be out by the end of next year um you know good high yelpy you know standard heavy metal um but meat and potatoes heavy metal fantasy metal so it was a little bit like early metal blade stuff post new wave of british heavy metal even a little bit like as you know the quality there is almost as good as like some of the swedish stuff from the mid 80s as well so it had that going for it. It wasn't, it wasn't hair metal. It was, um, you know, kind of long songs. There was proggy stuff to it. Prog is always, uh, you know, prog itself, but a little bit of prog in your metal uh, makes something collectible. And it was prog. It had keyboard arrangements. It was an EP. EPs are always kind of interesting. They're, they're like, you know, this, this middle length between, between a single and an, and an LP. Because normally when you got LPs, I think... LPs tended to be pressed in a little bit higher quantities than EPs, generally speaking. Um, it had, you know, the cover art was just this crude line drawing in black and white. Like that it made it look rare and collectible, so that, that kind of thing always helps. So it, and, and it had this sort of, um, this quality where it was definitely independent and it wasn't perfect. So, uh, you know, but it wasn't crappy at the same time. It was just this kind of middle thing where it felt like that. You know, and it's from Canada. Canada is, uh, didn't produce a lot of stuff. Canada is looked at as, as a little bit of an exotic country to Americans or certainly to Europeans or to Japanese people. Um, it's coming from a, a smaller mid-sized town like Hamilton. Um, so it's not, it's not like in the big media glare of Toronto or something like that. Um, so yeah, all, all of those things, um, just, just cool songs, longer songs, good performances, um, a little bit fantasy and underground, you know, like Warlord or some of the early, uh, Metal Blade kind of stuff. So that, that all adds up and yeah, and, and the album cover, I mean, you, you look at this thing and it's, it's just immediately, it just looks like a crazy rarity. It looks British too. And it's, you know, death and darky and it's got the, uh, you know, the Grim Reaper on a horse, the, the religious writing, the, uh, you know, the, the indie writing up here, the fantasy writing. It's just everything about it is, is just like mystical looking. Right. I think that was awesome. Hey, Martin and Marco here for The Contrarians. We just wanted to give you a little bit of an update. Uh, Marco is working on a Mystique documentary. Uh, Mystique were this cool Ontario band that had an EP out, a vinyl EP out, um, called Black Rider. It's one of these, uh, as you say on here, a holy grail of, uh, of old, kind of rare, expensive Canadian heavy metal. Um, then they put out a, uh, a cassette uh, EP that was paid for by Electra, you were saying, right? Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. And they recorded it in France. Uh, that only came out on, uh, on cassette, and then they put out a single in 88. Right. right. So that's, the, uh, that's all their output. Um, a bunch of that stuff is on this, uh, this reissue CD, which is cool. It's got all the lyrics in here and everything. But uh, yeah, so Marco is, uh, is beavering away on a Mystique documentary that's uh, due to come out uh, late 2020. Is that Ooh. right? Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, Anything else you want to say about it? No, just that, you know, this is basically how Martin and myself met. Uh, I contacted Martin because he um, put Mystique in a couple of his books. His uh, uh, heavy metal uh, price guide had uh, Mystique in it, and then he did the um, heavy metal albums of the 80s, which is a reviews reviewed. book. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, we did the interview for Mystique, and that's how the Contrarians thing came about. So, uh, yeah, it's a really cool project. Um, they're, you know, homegrown band, Hamilton, Toronto. They played around Ontario uh, in the 80s. Um, and basically, you're going to get a, an inside look on how the EP was produced, uh, how the story of Mystique started, where it ended. Uh, you're going to get all kinds of, like, rare footage, pictures. Um, you're going to see original uh, lyrics that were written, handwritten, that still exist. And all of this stuff's going to pop up in the film. You're going to see some of the members speak about the band and people that were around the band at the time. So it's actually it's a really cool project. And uh, yeah, so we're going to put this out next year and hopefully you can check it out somehow. We hope to premiere it in theaters in Hamilton because that's where the band started. We want to bring it full circle and kind of bring it back to Hamilton and uh, we'll see where, where it goes from there.
Sounds yeah, good. Stay tuned. Fun. All right. Take care. Perfect.